Yo, yo, yo! What's up, guys? All right, so, um, approximately two weeks ago, I posted a video about a scrap adventure. I was bringing all my scrap to the scrapyard, and I asked you guys to tell me how much it was worth. I have the answer right here. Now, I also asked, what is coming to the lab? All right, um, now, I was gonna only give the winner, okay, who choose both got the price the closest and guess what was what was coming I decided to only base it on price so you guys are lucky alright now we'll see if any of you guessed both of them right and got the closest maybe I'll also give something to that person we'll see but right now only thought he who wins is the guy who got close I'm going to first show you what I well okay we'll do this I'm going to show you what the numbers are, all right? I've got for each each item here and how much it weighed and what it was cost to actually scrap that in to uh, bring money back into the research. Then I will show you a detailed video of what I won. I'm sorry, but what I, what I got in the garage here, in the outside lab. Let's give a quick pointer. Dun, dun, dun! Look at this thing. It's freaking huge. It's a giant milling machine that I got for scrap price. Actually, I got just over scrap price, but you can't beat that. I'll show you that monster in a little bit. It weighs just under 5,000 pounds. Yeah, we got it in here with two pallet jacks and a hoist. Um, yeah, I'll make another video on that. I will time lapse the entire unloading of this thing. It's gonna be pretty cool, but that's gonna be another video. So, that is awesome. Hope you guys are excited. I'm super excited about that one. Let me just set this up here for you so that you can see all of the numbers. Okay. So I hope that's clear enough for you. I'll get a better quick, quick close up. But number two shred, that's steel. All right. When I drove in there, my car weighed 5,200 pounds. And when I drove out, it weighed 3,900 pounds. Total net weight of 1,300 pounds. That is only, uh, no, yep, that's my total weight, I believe. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Uh, the price per ton for scrap steel is $210 per ton. I'm not going to go through every one of these. I'll let you look at them on your own. But yellow brass, number one copper, Number two copper, well, number one and number two is basically stripped clean copper and then copper with coating on it with the outside shielding on it. Cast aluminum, um, I believe that's uh, like pop metal stuff. Um, the other, I think this is also aluminum. I don't know what that one is. Uh, sheet metal aluminum. See, that's the problem. You got to scrap, when you scrap, you have to separate everything. If you don't, you don't get your money's worth. Everything. So, uh, copper, random bits, uh, uh, extruded aluminum, uh, number two insulated copper. There's a different version of copper, so I'm not really sure. Maybe the one is shielded magnet wire stuff. I don't know. Electric motors. I should have strapped them out separately, but I just did not have time. I just ran out of time. I just I wanted to get stuff out of here. Um, unfortunately, I, I normally would always break stuff down. I spend way more time breaking stuff down than most people ever do. Um, shredded, number two, I believe that's the steel. So, that's what we got. Alright, so what's the number? Alright, there's a dollar amount. This is what each one weighed. Um, the gross, the tar, which is what the box weighed or a container I had it in. And then the net, which is the actual amount of weight that the item weighed. This is what everything is per pound. Okay, so number one copper is going right now for $2.60 a pound. Which is, you know, you got a lot of copper. That's a lot of money real fast. Um, Actually, quite a bit if you can if you can find the copper. Just don't steal it like a lot of people do. <laughs> Crazy people. A yellow brass. Uh, just you can glance over these numbers. But I got a grand total that I actually brought home of two hundred and forty-two dollars and seventy-three cents. Now I know the first thing you guys are gonna go is, oh, I, I won, I won. Well, did you guys forget about the thirty dollars that I was gonna get from uh, selling some of the computer stuff I had laying around? Well, for those of you who added thirty, guess again. Luckily, I actually had enough stuff. He gave me 50 bucks. Grand total, $292.73. All right. Now, I actually haven't looked yet while I'm recording this who actually won. I'll be doing that here shortly.
probably Monday. I will be looking through all the like 300 comments and find the closest winner. All right. Now here's the cool thing. I said I was going to give away a prize, and I am. I just posted a video of a kit that I'm selling. All right. I'm doing this. It's a fully blown open source kit, and it's nothing fancy. It's just a little levitator, diamagnetic levitator that I've designed and built on my 3D printer. Casted all the bismuth parts and put together the rest of it. I'm going to give you the prototype. Here you go. You give me an address, I'll get this to you. Um, I may need to have some reimbursement if, you, if, the over, if the winter is overseas. It's just terribly expensive, but we'll see. Um, I might not be able to. I might be able to get away with it. Um, so there you go. You win the prototype that I have built here. And I will send this to you. This is yours. Let's see if we can get it to levitate. I'll show you real quick. There you go. Pretty cool. So congratulations to the winner. I'll, uh, I'll go look it up and stick the uh, winner on the end of this video here. So I'll see you guys shortly in about, oh, I don't know, right mm. now. All right. What's up, everybody? So <clears throat> second uh, different day, and we're going to go back and check out the mill. I'm going to announce the winner, but here's what I need my subscribers to do. I need my subscribers to go and actually subscribe to the winner. All right. Check this guy out. He's doing some pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> He's getting his hands dirty, and I like that. So let's see if we can give this guy a thousand subscribers. He's got just under a hundred right now. I think he needs more. All right. So the winner is Peter Hall Effect. Congratulations, you won by like, I don't know, 15 cents. Some guy was just under you by this much. All right, you guessed $288, you are the closest guest. A couple people guessed 300, but that's not quite enough. You officially win my awesome handy dandy levitator. Now, I actually just redid this a little bit. Check it out. Yes. I made some bevels so you could actually see it better, and I like it. So there you go. This bad boy is yours, and I'm excited to give it to you. I, I enjoy especially giving people things that, you know, really are getting the hands dirty. They're out there doing some work. I think it's awesome. But here's the challenge to you, Peter. you got to make a video response and post it to this video. Once you get this in your hands and you're done playing with it, got a smile on your face, send back a video. Can you do that? Awesome. All right, let's go check out the mill. Congratulations, Peter, and uh, thanks, guys, for playing. It was a good one. We'll, we'll do some more like this. I enjoy it. I know you guys do, too. It took me a little while to get back with you. Sorry. Let's go check out the mill. Peace and love, you guys. Go subscribe to Peter Hall Effect. Check the description. I got it in there. Peace. Let's move on. Congrats. All righty. So let's take a tour of the milling machine. All right. I believe this is a 56 inch table. Okay, It's a long table. It is a very long table. Alright. Big old thing. Now, the reason that I really like this mill, there's two, there's, there's a, re, there's, well, there's a couple reasons why I like it, but then there's another reason why I don't. One reason that I like it is all the functionality here is automated. Okay, as far as if you want it to go up, you go up, you go down, you can select the speeds. All right. If you want it to go left, or if you want it to go right, which I have to engage this over here. Hold on. There we go. Okay, left or right. The table is automated, automatically fed. If you want it to go forward and backward, I actually haven't figured that out. I think it's this lever and this lever. I actually haven't played with it yet because I don't have it turned on. Unfortunately, this thing is three-phase, 480 volt. But the motors can be switched to 220. At least the one up here can. There's two motors on this big old monster, and I'll explain why. This is not only a vertical mill, but also a horizontal mill. Okay? Here's the thing. This head right here, you can see how long it is. It actually slides forward. Then you take one of those attachments right there. You attach it on the end. You open this up and you stick a spindle in there. Then you can put 
cutters like this on there and actually cut horizontal all right the shafts are actually down here some of the horizontal shafts they're buried in the back back there but here's what's cool all the heads all right and the parts that hold the uh, horizontal mill uh, this is a vertical mill inserts um, some braces I really don't know if these go with this machine because I don't really know where they go but I'm sure that they do they came with it um, all these different cutters all came with this I can actually cut sprockets for chains with some of these cutters some of these cutters are really crazy look at this thing it's like a freaking saw blade what the heck it's crazy different different style cutters cut woodruff keys and different type of keyways and angled cutters and I mean there's just a bunch of different stuff here's one that looks like it's for cutting woodruff keys <coughs> I don't know man these are crazy looking cutters but there's just a whole bunch of stuff and um, the cool thing is is that I can literally use this almost similar to like a table saw type of cut action with some of these cutters um, but all these cutters came with it there's probably I don't even want to guess how much money in cutters some of these probably aren't real real sharp some of them are brand new like these are brand new they're in the box uh, those are the end pieces so let's let's take a quick tour um, this motor up here runs the mill head itself now this is a vertical mill head and the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a quill it doesn't have a an action to bring this down but with the table being automated just get it set hit the lever drill your hole bring it back down a little bit more time consuming than a regular drill press but it functions the same I've also got the uh, the drill press chuck end that attaches into this mill head so we're good there this actually rotates at an angle this way this actually rotates at an angle this way so I can rotate in both axes which is very cool um, I've got speed controls for this motor up here All right, if I can pull this up I got different speeds I'll turn it here oh, maybe alright so put this back in one I'm not pulling up hard enough matter the gears just aren't sitting right that's what it is all right so here's a you can see the speeds a lot faster I'm just I'm just turning turning the end here to get that to go but this is different speed selections all right let's give you the name I didn't do that this is a Cincinnati brand name Cincinnati and it's a number two if you want to look it up Cincinnati number two MH horizontal horizontal and vertical milling machine just for fun there's a serial number you can Google that and find out more information. Um, so, some of the labels, real quick. All right, so you got different spindle speeds. It's a pretty cool way that this actually switches gears. And then you've got the ABC type of settings. Um, then you've got forward, reverse, that's a spindle direction. That actually controls the motor. Now, let me show you the back motor. This is what's interesting about this milling machine. Um, so the top motor actually controls the end mill, the horizontal, but there's this separate second motor. All right, it's hard to see. It's a big freaking motor. I believe it's a five horsepower. This one up here is a three horsepower. All right, but this motor is actually what controls all of the functionality and the horizontal mill try to get over here and get a better shot okay so this motor actually controls all of the table functionality and the horizontal or the vertical sorry horizontal um, portion of this mill okay so that's that's pretty cool um, I'll go ahead and close this back up so really that's basically all the functionality of it um, I, I don't know don't know what that lever does um, it might move this in automatically I don't know but it's also got a hand you just loosen up see this bolt and this bolt and this has teeth on the bottom of it and then that's what actually slides this out so you can actually do horizontal vertical milling with this which is pretty cool 
Um, it takes a little bit of setup, but once you get it set up, you're good to go. So I can do like surfacing and stuff with a horizontal cutter. So uh, anyway, that's that's my new my new toy. It weighs five thousand pounds. Actually, it weighs um, forty-eight hundred, just under it actually, barely under it. So there you go. There's a quick tour of the new milling machine. It's also got the automatic oiler. This is pretty cool. I think some of these are kind of stuck, but basically, if you get this set up right, you can turn the oiler on. The oil will automatically dispense onto your cutting area, automatically run down in here, run down to the bottom, drain into the drain, and get pumped back up into the um, the actual uh, cutting area again. So that's that's actually a really cool thing because oil is messy, and if you can contain it where it automatically runs back down and keeps it going, that's pretty freaking sweet. This is contactors for the bottom motor. Top motor has contactor right there. Start and stop button. Temporarily removed it. Sits like that. The bottom here actually has the switch up there. That's for the top. That must be for the back. One of these two is for the bottom motor. Probably the one in the back. Anyway, um, this little door is some sort of a port. I really don't know what it is. <laughs> Not a clue. It doesn't do anything that I can tell. I'm thinking that originally the contactors was inside and somebody added that box. I don't know though. Um, so that's it. That's, that is the new milling machine. I really hope, uh, really hope you guys are excited as I am. I just, uh, I couldn't believe this thing was scrap. It was scrap price. They just get rid of it. Here's how big it is if you want to get a visual. Table, I believe it's like I said, 56 inches. I believe this goes out probably about two and a half feet. And it'll lower and raise about two and a half feet. It's actually almost all the way down. I was going to wait until I got it hooked up because it's really, this bottom table is just heavy. That's all there is to it. And it's going to take a lot of work to get it all the way back where it originally was. I lowered it so we could handle it a little better. Anyway, um, it, needs a, it needs a little tender loving care, a little oil. It probably hasn't been old in 50 years. Huh. It's a uh, 1952 from what I can find out. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it because I got it for scrap price. That's right, scrap price. Um, I also forgot to add in this video that if you didn't know this yet, I had my third child. That's kind of why it took me so long to get all this stuff done. Yeah, so excited about that too. All right, well let's go ahead and find out. Um, well, I guess that's it. Congratulations to the winner. Um, I'll have to make that video next. See ya.